Hey you guys, welcome to my weekend edition love and general reading. This is for Earth Signs, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, so that is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, December 7th, 8th, and 9th. Uh, so I've already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. And also, you guys, I see that two cards shot out, maybe more, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to also use those as bonus cards. And it's funny because that also happened for water signs. Like when I was shuffling, like a little group of cards fell out. So let's see what those are. Okay, so I have um, five of cups and the druid, which is the same as the emperor. Um, so... I'll also show you what these cards are. So this is the Nine of Cups that came out, Seven of Cups, the uh, Emperor, we have the Three of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Six of Cups, Page of Shields or Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. Okay, so the ones that fell out, I just want to go over that first. So there is, someone is uh, making some sort of confession. Uh, either they are, um, excuse me, either someone is saying I disapprove of this connection or I disapprove of what you did um, or someone is uh, also maybe confessing and saying I feel bad about what happened or I'm sorry about you know that I disappointed you or let you down um, so I feel too that I feel like something is being brought out into the open um, and I feel like it's, it's both of those energies for somebody it's about a disapproval someone is just kind of putting that out there and making it known and for others of you, it's about an apology or somebody is is really sorry for uh, what happened in the past here. Um, also here, there's something else that I'm picking up. I just kind of feel like someone is has disappointing news. There's something in regards to the status quo not being met, not living up to someone's standards or someone's expectations, not living up to someone's idea. Someone may feel that their, um, their image their image is in trouble, especially if this is like a political figure. I'm also seeing this as a loss, someone maybe having lost faith in an institution of marriage or commitment or people, somebody is saying people just do whatever they want now. Uh, what happened to rules? What happened to regulations? You know, um, maybe we need rules. Maybe there needs to be a structure. Um, because too many people do what they want. You know, I'm just kind of feeling like someone is really upset about something and they're, they're blaming uh, society or they're blaming lack of discipline. Um, I also feel like someone had to learn a lesson in disappointment. Like that had to be part of your spiritual lesson like had you not learned about disappointment you wouldn't understand what it's like to be in you know this person's shoes or that person's shoes so this is all part of the plan um, there is happiness at the end of the rainbow but I also feel like someone you or someone may be too focused at your losses there's a need to focus on the the blessings here and what you have um, Okay, so now I also feel like with the Nine of Cups that someone is um, finally feeling good about something, but 
it's all, every time I see the nine of cups in this deck, it's just weird because it looks like there is some sort of satisfaction in revenge um, or satisfaction for someone else's loss or pain. Uh, someone is kind of feeling like, well, you got what you deserved. And I don't know who would be feeling like that, but overall, the nine of, the nine of cups is about um, being glad that something happened or being happy about uh, your current situation. Um, someone might have been single for a long time and they're just okay with it. Maybe you've learned to detach emotionally from other people and learn to live happy alone. Um, not saying that you're going to stay alone, but maybe now you're in a position where it doesn't bother you. I'm sorry you guys can't see the card. I was just like kind of looking at all the cobwebs around the dinner table. Um... And somebody having some sort of weird attitude towards someone maybe not showing up. I almost too get feel like someone gets stood up, but your attitude about it is very blase, just very nonchalant. Um, it doesn't bother you for whatever reason. Um And then maybe for some of you, this is you just kind of enjoying like a horror, a horror film. Um, maybe sitting alone, eating your popcorn, watching something very frightening. Um, I'm also seeing someone that has a sick sense of humor or someone. Yeah, someone's sense of humor is very twisted, very off. Um, like, even if you're like a writer, a screenwriter, you might be someone who likes to write, um, black comedies, things that are not supposed to be funny and you're writing about them. Like, um, what's that name? It's an old movie, Weekend at Bernie's, so funny, but it's like a dark comedy because, you know, these guys are walking around with a dead body for the entire weekend and it's just like hilarious. Um, so it's almost like finding the humor in something very dark. Maybe you are in a very dark situation, a very dark time in your life and you're just like, I can't do nothing but laugh about it. You know, like I have to laugh to keep from crying or this is funny to me now. I think it's funny the way people are. Um, you know, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. So I'm feeling like someone is making light of a very dark situation. Um, also with the father here, I'm seeing someone has been keeping a distance. They're watching you quietly. Um, looking at the images on the card though, it is coming off a little creepy, um, it might not be creepy for everybody, but I am getting like a little creepy element to this. Um, I feel more so maybe this person is just misunderstood, hard to read, very confusing type of energy. Um, maybe they just say weird, random things. This person seems to be very very much off to themselves. They're very quiet. I also feel like you might, at, at your place of work, you might turn around and find someone staring at you, looking like they have very dirty thoughts on their mind, um, which is, I'm also seeing. Mm -hmm. um, okay, before I get off into that, mm-hmm. Um, at your place of work, you might find someone watching you, like you feel someone's eyes on you. You turn around and this person is boldly staring at you, 
maybe with their legs crossed and you were like, what the fuck are you doing? What are you thinking about? Why are you looking at me that way? Um, and it's almost confusing. Like, are they? And it's just like, then they randomly blurt out something off, you know, off subject. And it's just like, now, you know, good and well, that's not what you were thinking about. Um, you look like you have something nasty on your mind. Um, so I'm feeling like you might be dealing with a coworker who is very unusual. Um, very unusual person. They're looking at you, watching you, um, and they're, they're, it's like maybe they're flirting. Are they flirting? What is that? Um, now also what I was saying, the, the, mm hmm those of you that are single, y'all just gonna be doing some self-pleasure like a mug this weekend. Um, you might be thinking about someone or you might be watching your porn or even if you got somebody um, and when they go, you're waiting for them to go to sleep so you can, you know, watch your stuff and, and pleasure yourself. So I'm getting that. I'm, I'm getting like a lot of self-pleasure watching, um, watching porn in the dark, getting your rocks off. Um, so, yeah, I am getting that for some of you. I'm also picking up somebody maybe has an unusual um, sexual fetish um, that you don't tell a lot of people about. Only people close to you know that you have this fetish. I don't know what the fetish is. Maybe it's a fat fetish. Maybe it's a foot fetish. Um, maybe it is, I don't know exhibitionism I don't know somebody but I'm, I'm getting fetish too from somebody um, now also I'm seeing at your place of work there's gonna be a need to compromise because you guys are I don't know dealing with some sort of conflict maybe you're having to resolve either you are having to resolve customer issues or client issues keeping your clients happy or you're having to resolve issues uh, in regards to your coworkers. Something's going on with you and your coworkers. You guys aren't getting along, and you need to uh, be mature about it and compromise. Uh, relationship, that same message. Maybe there's a need to compromise. There's been some sort of conflict, uh, but you've invested so much time in the relationship, and so it's, it's talking about, hey, let's let's where did we go wrong? Uh, Let's examine this. So I'm feeling like someone wants to take a close examination at what didn't work in the past. And you guys are working on reconciling. And we're going from frustration to connection here with the Six of Cups. So I feel like maybe you are finding balance. Maybe you are finding a resolution and, and finding compromise here. Also, uh, for some of you, maybe you've been waiting for someone to return. They're coming back into your life. Um, so this could be someone from your past. Someone, it could be an ex, or it could just be someone that you're familiar with. Um, maybe it's someone from childhood, high school, college, old neighborhood. You know, someone from your past um, that you're very familiar with, and you guys are opening up. You guys are moving past some sort of frustration or moving past some sort of difficulties. Uh, also, if there are any type of um, sexual problems in a relationship, there may be a need to just confront those issues instead of hiding it. Um, there's a need to just open up with your partner and express to them what you've been thinking or feeling or what you want to try. And like I said, you guys, I feel like I got a similar, similar message in um, Water Sign reading. And like Water Sign, the two cards shot out. So... Um, you know, there could be something going on in a bedroom that needs to be addressed uh, for those of you that are coupled or, you know, involved with someone. Uh, for others of you that are alone, I feel like, you know, you're just kind of doing some self-pleasuring here, um, seeing someone erupting. Now, on a creepy side, there could be some, or maybe you think it's sexy or creepy. Somebody is jerking off to you. They got your um your picture up, or they done saved your picture, and they... Looking at your social media, there's just regular pictures. It's not even sexual pictures. They're just looking through your social media from a distance and and look at them uh, erupting here. They Now they're relieved. They're like, ah, that feels so much better. Um, 
so um yeah that that's what i'm seeing for some of you guys now also uh did i name the energies i'm seeing for some of you could be dealing with taurus aries scorpio uh leo capricorn Tur taurus virgo or cancer are the energies that i'm feeling here um I'm also seeing an age difference for some of you. A younger person dealing with a much older person. Um, I almost feel though, maybe too, where that's where some of the dis disapproval is coming from. Like it could be a very young girl involved with a much older man and young, like 17, um, getting involved with someone who is like um, 30. 35 um, so something very unorthodox um, and someone is just like what's what's the matter with society now I'm disappointed in society that this is allowed to happen or you know there's something going on where there is some something unorthodox I feel uh, going on with a connection uh, I also feel that somebody is feeling alone or isolated uh, those of you with children, make sure that you are having some sort of open communication with your child because they may be going through something difficult at school uh, or difficult, you know, that they're just not talking about or ready to talk about. And there's a need to reach their intellect and uh, get them to open up and get them to trust you so that they can share what's been bothering them because they're holding on to something. Uh, I feel like they're very confused about it. Maybe um, uh, there's a younger child that is confused about uh, their body or you know sexuality. Maybe they have questions, uh, but I'm seeing something in regards to a young child that maybe doesn't know how to approach you with an issue. Maybe you yourself are someone like a psychologist or a teacher or someone that has a, um, authority and someone is coming to you for help. Uh, this could be a, someone who's sad, maybe you're um, a counseling a family or counseling children. Um, but I'm getting something about a child opening up to an adult, not, not in that sense <clears throat> this particular time, I know sometimes it can get dark, but I'm seeing this more so like a child or a younger a teenager just kind of like needing advice and not really knowing what to do with the situation and not knowing if they can talk to this person about it. So maybe you are someone who's an advisor or a teacher and, you know, your students need need to come to you for assistance. Um also, relationship-wise, I'm seeing something in regards to trust issues and, and learning how to communicate with each other or learning how to connect on an emotional level because there could have been some sort of frustration with not understanding someone's emotions or not speaking the same love language. Um, and then there is a need for you guys to resolve that here. Um, but also I'm getting a, a group of you that enjoys your time alone. You've been isolated. And during this alone time, you've been able to learn things about yourself or you've been discovering things about yourself, um, learning your worth or having some sort of clarity or some sort of aha moment. Um, and I'm also seeing somebody maybe who too has could be using drugs. I'm seeing lightweight stuff like marijuana or mushrooms, but just make sure it's nothing that goes darker than that for those of you that are experimenting or those of you that have, like I said, younger children. Um, make sure they're sharing with you and just being honest and opening up. Or maybe they just want to tell you that they tried something and... Uh, they don't want you to judge them, but there's something that they just needed to get off of their chest because they felt guilty. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and pull some romance angel cards. All right, what are the additional messages for my earth signs for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Where is Capricorn?
right, so for some of you, um, we have the honeymoon card. So I'm feeling like for some of you, you might be getting to know someone or like someone is returning and you're maybe falling in love again or maybe you're fantasizing. Uh, for some of you, it could just be a fantasy. Um, you're daydreaming about being in love and, and um, wanting to have someone to explore, wanting to have, wanting someone to spend time with. Um, this is saying that you deserve love um, and let your friends help you. So for some of you, um, maybe there's a need for your friends to assist you or, or set you up, especially um, this person who seems to know all the answers or the person that has the best advice or the person that knows the most people. Um, and I just saw 2111, so I don't know if that is any significance to anyone. Um, but I feel like this is about someone who is getting ready to set you up. Someone wants to introduce you to someone and they're saying, look, now this person's a little off the wall, but don't judge them. Give them a chance. So I'm feeling like someone is trying to introduce you to someone who is a little unusual. Maybe they're an artist. Maybe they're philosophical. Um, maybe they're just not normally your type. But I feel like you're going to open up and give this person a chance. There's going to be some sort of flirtation. And it says calling in your soulmate and uh, reconciliation here, too. So those of you that are meeting someone new, um, you know, this very well could be your soulmate. This is something that you've been asking for. So just um, go with the flow of it and uh, see where it goes. You know, you don't have to jump into a relationship, but at least give it a try is what I feel. And then also uh, for some of you, this person is, you know, there's a need for you to reconcile your relationship. So maybe we saw that five of wands. So maybe there was some sort of argument and then we had the six of cups following. So maybe this is you guys, um, kissing and making up and, you know, apologizing, um, especially after um, confessions or, you know, somebody hiding how they really feel or their hidden desires. You know, I'm feeling like someone is opening up and they're also with the flirt card. I'm feeling like someone is kind of flirting around. Like if you had a secret, like you're kind of uh, putting it out there um, and just trying to get a reaction, trying to see what their reaction is going to be. Um, like, how would you feel if I wanted to do this? Or how would you feel um, if I told you that I was attracted to uh, your ex? Or, you know, how would you feel about that? So I feel like somebody's kind of flirting around with some sort of idea. Um, and you might get a welcome or open response from this person. Maybe you thought they were going to be angry at you, but they're actually kind of like, no, you know, I feel like you deserve love. You know, if this is what you want, it didn't work out between us or, um, yeah, you have my permission to, um, date my ex or yes, you have permission to date my, uh, family member or, uh, yes, you have permission to, you know, so I'm almost feeling like you may be wanting, this could be you asking for permission um, and feeling ashamed, like, I'm so sorry, I, you know, I didn't think you would, I thought you would be angry at me, or, you know, I'm sorry if you feel like I betrayed you, but, you know, someone is putting something out into the open, and they felt bad about it, but the person is actually like, no, you deserve love, it's okay, I forgive you, so I'm seeing, like, forgiveness, too, um, being made, and, um, you know, you guys are able to move past any type of hurt feelings that you may have had with someone from your past or, um, yeah, you guys, maybe you and your ex are now becoming friends or maybe your ex is even the one that is putting you, uh, hooking you up with somebody, um, or you're hooking up your ex. So there could be some, that's maybe is what I was also picking up with that, uh, unconventional energy as well so yeah you guys um things aren't going to be as bad as you're expecting them uh just go with the flow of things and i feel like this weekend you know should run smoothly all right so i hope that resonated uh thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe many blessings to you